All right, guys, we're going to be going back in with Wicked Houndoom, which is Sylveon GX Houndoom EX deck for some revenge. We did lose the last battle that I did make a video for, so we're going to see if we could possibly get a victory for everybody out there watching. If you guys are interested in that deck list, that will be down below in the description as always. So, looks like our opponent already has an advantage over us. And let's see if we can go ahead and win this coin flip and we lose it. So it looks like we're not going to be going first against Black Rose. Let's see what we can do here. We start off with a Sylveon GX. No basics in our hand. So it looks like we're going to be redrawing. And our opponent is going to be able to draw one extra card on their side of the field. They got those Dawn Wing Necrozma sleeves as well as deck box. And we start off with a Talon Flame, which is definitely who we would like to start off with, especially if we are going second, because we know that we can attack with Arrow Blitz right away. And hopefully if our opponent does not have an N, we will be okay. Now, Steam Siege is going to be rotated out in August, so no more Talon Flame. He will be going bye-bye. Alolan Vulpix on my opponent's side of the field. And they're not going to be able to use Beacon their first turn, so they're going to end their turn right away. Wow. So if I'm able to hit for 60, I can technically... I know I have a Kakui in my deck. Unfortunately, I don't have a Lele right now to get that Kakui out, or else this would be GG already. And we'll go ahead and evolve our Sylveon. I was going to use Arrow Blitz, but instead... We're going for the Sylveon GX Magical Ribbon so that we can basically get out all the cards that we need. At least three of the cards that we need right now. Houndoom EX. I'll grab a Team Rocket's Handiwork maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Let's think about this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab Team Rocket's Handiwork and I will grab a Fire Energy. Actually, I'm going to grab a switch so that I can switch out the Houndoom. And I'll just use a Rainbow Energy. So where's that switch at? Let me see. Skipped it. There it is. Okay. So hopefully I can switch out next turn. Bring the Houndoom up. If he does get knocked out, I can bring up the Talon Flame. We'll see what happens. It's too early in the game. And our opponent lays down a Prism Star Volcanion. So... Jet Geyser, once during your turn, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand if you do your opponent switch is active with one of their bench Pokemon. So, they're going to use it right away and bring out my Town Flame, which has a free retreat. So, I actually will be able to bring out my Houndoom next turn if I don't get knocked out, which is pretty cool. Let's see what supporter they're going to use this turn. And they do use an end, so that is going to get rid of our cards. I figured... Had this feeling in the back of my head. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of this end. Maybe we get another Houndoom. And at least we get an energy. And we can definitely bring our Sylveon back up. We do get a Delinquent very nice so that we can take advantage of this Brooklet Hill. And make our opponent discard four cards. I mean three cards from their hand. Which is actually pretty nice. We can search for a water or fighting Pokemon, but we don't have any water or fighting Pokemon. We have fire, normal, and fairy. So, if broken onto the bench, are we going to be seeing Greninja in this battle? That would be pretty cool. Volcanium Prism Star, one more energy, and Alolan Vulpix using that beacon ability, or should I say attack, to go ahead and search for two Pokemon, reveal them to me, and put them into their hand. So let's see what they're going to be choosing. I will at least be able to get rid of the four cards that they currently have in their hand. I mean three cards. Three of the four cards that they currently have in their hand. If I use Delinquent. I really don't want to use that special energy on my Talent Flame. But I think it's something that's going to have to be done. So we'll go ahead. We'll Delinquent right away. <clears throat> Let's see what my opponent does. Let's see what they get rid of. What do they have in their discard right now? Uh, and a Brooklyn Hill and an Aqua Patch. So let's see what they're going to be tossing away. 
Delinquent's going to be the first card going into my discard pile. They will get rid of a Greninja, a Tapu Fini, and a Guzma. And I'll go ahead, Crushing Hammer. Let's see if I can hit it. I do. Take away one energy from the Rokanian. I will go ahead. Special energy onto my Talon Flame, which I really didn't want to do. And I don't think I'm going to go ahead and use Puzzle to Time this turn. We'll go ahead, hit for 40. And we will go ahead, grab the Houndoom EX. And we'll go ahead and grab out a Fire Energy. So let's see if my opponent decides to try and end again. They only have three cards in their hand. Pretty sure it's like a rare candy and something else. So, and they get the yellow and nine tails up, which is actually very nice. They can actually just throw a DCE on here and use Ice Path, which will move all the damage counters from the Alone Nine Tails GX to my Pokemon. 20 damage to me, just for evolving into that Frog of Deer, and they'll go ahead and use Cynthia. So pretty interesting. Another Froki onto the bench. We're gonna be seeing some Greninja GXs in our near future. I do believe so two puzzles at a time so I can actually take two things out of my discard right now but I don't really need to so do we want to start using Houndoom I think it's the per perfect time with Ninetales out um, he is weak against water so they are gonna have to attack their first attack only hits the bench and the only way they can hit me with damage is if they use their second attack, which they're going to need two water energies in a regular. I don't think that's going to happen. So let's go ahead, Melting Horn, and start discarding those cards from our opponent's deck. What do we get rid of? We got rid of a Froakie, and we got rid of a Cyrus Prism Star. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to help me much, but we'll see what happens, guys. We still have 40 cards in our deck. I do have two puzzles at a time. So I can go ahead and grab Crushing Hammer back out of my discard if I really need to. 20 damage onto the Houndoom with that Frogadier evolving. And we don't see a Greninja GX just yet. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing something soon. So Cynthia, hoping to get that Greninja GX. Put some more damage counters on my Pokemon. I do have a Max Potion just in case they decide to put too much damage on one particular Pokemon. Maybe the Sylveon GX. <clears throat> Not sure how they want to spread it. Ooh, and they're going to be doing 50 damage to my bench. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I do have Enhanced Hammer, guys. So I could get rid of that DCE right away, which is really going to be an advantage for me. They could use Ice Path GX, which will switch. Not switch. It'll put the 40 damage on me, meaning I'll have 60 damage on my Houndoom. Evolving into the Greninja, and now they got to decide where they want to put those damage counters. They'll go ahead and put it on my Sylveon GX, which means Max Potion is going to be used. And they'll go ahead and knock me out with 160 damage. Very nice by my opponent. 160 damage. 50 damage to one of your po Pokemon. It can be any of them. Okay, I thought it was only Bench, so I did make a mistake right there. Let's go ahead and Talonflame. We're going to go ahead, remove that DC. We're going to delinquent our opponent again. At least that's what I want to do. So we'll go ahead, puzzle the time. We will go ahead and put two cards from our discard pile into our hand. Houndoom. I can do this or I can grab the delinquent. I think I'm going to grab the delinquent and I'm going to grab the crushing hammer. We'll go ahead, Delinquent. My opponent will have to discard three cards from their hand. <clears throat> this is going to be a very close match, guys. A very close match. So, they still need four prize cards. They can knock out my Sylveon. It'll bring them down to two. And then they still have to knock out my Oranguru and my Talonflame. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Sylveon. Let's go ahead and Crushing Hammer, see if we could possibly get another Heads, we get a Tails, and we'll go ahead and use that Instructability with the Oranguru, draw two cards, put an Energy onto our Sylveon GX, we'll go ahead and Retreat because we're going to need some more cards, and Magical Ribbon, what do we want to take out? 
enhanced hammer, crushing hammer, and I would say a Team Rocket's handiwork. Oh, I already have a Team Rocket's handiwork. Oh, that was a mistake by me, guys. So, I could have took out something else that I really needed. Maybe a DCE for my Orangaroo next turn. And they're going to go ahead and lay that 30 damage onto my Sylveon GX. And Cynthia. This is going to be a close one, guys. I can already tell. Aqua Patch. And they're going to be bringing that onto a Greninja GX, I would think. Unless they're going to be start stacking them onto the Volcanion again. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this mic. Let me stop this real fast. Give me one second. Aqua Patch, who do you think is going to go on? I'm not sure. Okay, so. Taking a little bit of time to figure out what they want to do. I need a glass of water after this match. <clears throat> I definitely need a glass of water after this match. Yeah. So, Aqua Patch, and they are going to stack them onto the Volcanion. I'm not sure. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, they're trying to do damage to my bench. That's probably why they're doing that. Let's go ahead and. Well, Crushing Hammer right away, and we miss it. So, we'll go ahead and Team Rocket's handiwork. We miss it. Ooh, and we get one. So, what are we going to do? Man, they really want to bring out that Volcanion. Uh, pretty bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and Magical Ribbon. And we're going to do whatever we have to do to try and get those energies off of our opponent's Pokemon. So, let's see what we can do, guys. We'll get a Crushing Hammer, a Plomeria, and a Team Flare Grunt. Our opponent's down to 18 cards in their deck. They can still definitely win this match. They only need four prize cards. This is beginning to be a little bit of a long match, guys. So I do really appreciate it if you guys are still watching. Let's go ahead and see if we can possibly come out with a victory against Black Rose D. Two Greninjas are already on the bench. And I did heal up my Sylveon GX, so I am expecting another Frog Deer. Don't see it in my opponent's discard pile. So, let's see. What do we want to do? Crushing Hammer right away. Ooh, we miss again. So, Team Rocket's handiwork. Hopefully, we hit two heads since we've been missing. Ooh, we hit one head. DC and Ace Roller. Very nice. <clears throat> and, man... We're going to go ahead Magical Ribbon again, guys. And we're going to go ahead and actually take out two puzzles at a time so that we can get some stuff out of our discard pile. And we're going to go ahead and grab another Team Rocket's handiwork. Sure, our opponent is not too excited about that right now. They may have another N where they can actually switch us up. They've already used four Cynthia's, which I didn't realize. So I'm not sure if they have any more draw support unless they do have Sycamores in their hand. Ultra Ball, they're going to be looking for that Frog of Deer. At least in my opinion, that's what I think they're going to be looking for. Okay, so two damage counters. They're going to be laying on to my Sylveon GX or somebody else. I think it's probably going to be Sylveon GX. Let's see who they're going to lay it on. Okay, so 50 damage onto the Sylveon. Still have an enhanced hammer in case a special energy comes up. Have my two puzzle at times. Things are looking good. Okay. So, hmm. <clears throat> what do I want to take out of my discard? What do I need to take out of my discard? At this point, I can go and take out a Houndoom and a Fire Energy or some Crushing Hammers and try and get this off. So, let's see, guys. Two Crushing Hammers. I'm going to have to hit one of them, right? Uh, let's just go for the two Crushing Hammers. I mean, that's what we're here for, to discard energies and try and deck out our opponents. So, Team Rocket's Handiwork, first and foremost, and we don't get any of that. So, hopefully, we do get the Crushing Hammers. And we get one. 
And let's see if we get the second one because we did not hit that Team Rocket's handiwork. And we do. No energies on my opponent's Pokemon at all. And it looks like we're going to be doing okay. Right now, we just need to start discarding. I'm going to grab one Fire Energy. Oh, I don't have a Houndoom. So I don't really need that Fire Energy right now. Hmm. What can I use, guys? Team Flare Grunt. They don't have any. I'm going to have to grab another Team Rocket's Handiwork, Team Skull Grunt, and a DCE for my Oranguru that's on the bench. Now let's see what happens. Our opponent only has 14 cards left. Are they going to have another end? Are they going to find a way to get some energy on their Pokemon? I was able to hit two heads with the Crushing Hammer after missing that Team Rocket's handiwork. They are down to 13 cards. Crash your wake. Wow, discard two energy cards. I actually have not seen this card for a while. So if you do, search your deck for two cards. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Okay, not too bad. I cannot say that I mind that at all. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be grabbing a Greninja and something else. An energy? I would say an energy. DCE, there you go, and a Greninja. It would have to be a DCE and a Greninja. Ice Blade, I don't think that's a knockout. Okay, that's really good for me. I know for sure 100% that I do have another max potion uh, i can easily discard this card with enhanced hammer the dce for my opponent i can go ahead team rocket's handiwork now they still need four cards so i think i'm still kind of in the safe zone only nine more cards left in their deck i could go ahead and retreat bring out the talon flame and search for a max potion which i think i'm going to do they're going to need a guzma in order to switch me out and that would be the supporter they have to use for their turn so Let's go ahead and Arrow Blitz, grab our Max Potion, and grab a Fairy Energy. And let's see what happens on my opponent's side of the field. Wow, this is a long match, guys, but it looks like we are hanging in there, and we may get lucky. But let's see what happens. I'm never going to talk too fast. We still have six prize cards left, so the only way to win is by decking my opponent out. And they'll go ahead and use their N, which I can't say I mind. I'm still going to be getting six cards, and hopefully one of them is a max potion. It is, and a fairy energy. Wow. Okay, don't think my opponent was expecting that. I got really lucky, I have to say. 100% luck right there, getting a max potion and a fairy energy so that I can heal up next turn and go ahead and grab that Team Rocket's handiwork and possibly that Plumeria. I actually get to grab three cards, so but we'll see what I want. Let's go ahead and heal up. Let's go ahead and attach that energy. We can actually Guzma and have him stuck with a Volcanium Prism Star out in front. Which is actually what I think I want to do. I'd rather have him stuck with a Volcanium than with an Alola Ninetales. So we'll go ahead Magical Ribbon. We'll go ahead and grab out. Okay, where are we at? I already used Team Rocket's handiwork, so I have to go ahead and do something where I'm able to discard. I need to be able to. Hmm. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a DCE, guys. I guess we're going to try and knock someone out, and hopefully, I can maybe get a Houndoom EX from my discard pile. I highly doubt it. We'll go ahead and grab another Enhanced Hammer. And we'll go ahead and grab hmm, a Max Potion in case they do some more damage to me next turn. And now they're going to be down to four cards, guys. So if we can just get something, we'll be okay. I don't think they have any more draw support or ends to save them. Ooh, Professor's Letter. If they're going to take two energies out, okay, they're only taking one, bringing them down to three, which is not good. Attaching one energy... And are, do they have free retreat? No, they don't. Okay, so we should be okay. We're going to hit for 110. Which is not going to knock them out. And then they're going to need a DCE in order to retreat. So, let's see. What are my options here? 
Do I have a Kukui in my discard pile? I don't. So let's go ahead and see if Kukui's in my deck. If not, he is in my prizes. And I should have known better. But we could go ahead and Team Skullgrunt. And that'll remove the case of any DCEs being in their hand and them able to actually retreat their Volcanian. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, they have two energies in their hand. And they'll go ahead and concede that is going to be the end of the match. We did get a victory. Sylveon GX, Houndoom EX. It was a long one, guys. Once again, I really appreciate everybody to stay to watch. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. Remember, new content every day, 5 p.m., unless there is an issue. I will have it posted on my Facebook page, just so you all know. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. Like everybody knows, it's JP Positive, and I'm out.